Well, hey again, guys. Today I'm going to be smoking a couple pork bellies. Actually, it's one pork belly I split into two. I'm going to have this one here just in black pepper, just regular black pepper here from Kroger. Nothing, spe nothing special about that. Rubbed it in on both sides and all the way around on the ends. This one here, I'm using again that Infidel pork rub that my daughter-in-law gave me. And you can see the QR code there if you want to get yourself some. It worked out really good on the pork butt we did, so we figured we'd try one on a pork belly. And again, we rubbed it in on both sides and all around the ends very well. Cooking again today with the white oak, red oak, and hickory pellets from Rectech. It's uh, about 30 degrees outside and they're calling for snow, so the temperature is probably going to go down even more. So for that reason, I'm going to going to smoke a little higher temperature than normal. I got it set for 250, and of course the bottom two temperatures are the are the probes, the temperature probes, which I haven't put in there yet. But I'll be putting the pork bellies on and putting the uh, the fat side up or the meat side down. I want the fat to render down into the meat. Probably do an internal temperature of about 170-ish. They say 160 to 180, so I'm going to pick right in the middle there, 170. Again, I'm using the Rectech pellet smoker. Got the pellets in here. Got it full. It's probably going to take probably six or seven hours today with the temperature the way it is. And I can just see the snow just starting to fall. So it's probably going to get a little chilly out here doing this smoker today. And again, that's why I'm running the temperature a little normal, higher than normal. I typically run about two and a quarter, 225, but I'm going to run it a little hotter today because of the outside temperature. So I'm going to shut this down for a second, put the uh, pork bellies on there, and I'll turn it back on and we'll see those in a second. Okay guys, got the two pork bellies on, got the temperature probes in each one of them. I'm stuck in about the thickest part of, the, of each belly. And uh, we'll start the timer here and the temperature. We'll pay attention to both of those. And hopefully we'll be having some pork belly here in six or seven hours. Again, we're at 250. Meat temperature is still a crisp 56, 57 degrees. It may be a while. Hey, we're getting ready to take off the second pork belly here. It's 180 degrees. We took off the other one just a few minutes ago. This one here looks pretty good. We're going to take it inside. We're going to wrap it in foil and let it rest for a while. And then we'll see how it tastes. Hey, we wrap these things up in foil and let them rest for an hour or so. This is the pepper unit. Looks pretty good. Tastes very good. A little drier than the other one, uh, but taste is good. This is the one with the Infidel rub. It's uh, quite a bit more moist than the other one. And the taste with that rub, uh, we seem to like that better than just the pepper. So I highly recommend that Infidel rub on a... On a um, pork belly. We'll be slicing this up and we're going to share it with some neighbors. So hit like and subscribe if you uh, if you like pork bellies.